Hello everyone. I want to share my thoughts on Crows so far. It is a very early access game. It has quite a bit of issues, but issues that can be avoided. So uh, I just want to go over all that. Okay, to properly relay my thoughts, let me talk about goals, I guess you can say. Whenever you create a game, you should have the target audience in mind. Meaning that if you're going for the casual players, it needs to be a relatively easy game to play. If you're going for a more niche category like um, hardcore, survival, or one of those, kind of like Tarkov, for example, um, then by all means go for that. But you need to pick one or the other. And once you have selected that, then you need to design the game to support that. More or less, that's what I'm trying to say here. Now, Crows, as far as I can tell, is going to aim at the casual players. The reason I think Crows is aiming at the casual players is because the recoil is super easy to manage. Uh, it's honestly even easier than Call of Duty in some aspects, depending which gun you're talking about, range and all that. Um, another thing, too, that kind of makes it easy is... Um, the third person view you're by default in third person view up until you decide to um, aim your weapon so that also helps with making it easier because now you have more awareness of what's going on around you you can peek corners easy as well so there are certainly things here that scream that this is going for the casual player base that's fine and all but um I think that there are certainly some issues that are going to stem from that. Having a third-person view in an FP, well, uh, I don't even think it's fair to call an FPS at that point, but a shooter uh, gives an unfair advantage to certain players in certain circumstances. So I'm not really sure how that's going to play out quite yet, but so far it doesn't seem to be an issue. Um, but we'll see. The other thing, too, that um, I guess is kind of a concern is that due to the third-person aspect, due to how easy the recoil is, um, it kind of makes it so that the hip-fire guns are, well, at least the weapons that have decent hip-fire accuracy, are going to be the ones that are going to be dominant. So um, that branches into the discussion now of weapons. As it stands, the LMGs are in a really poor state because they have poor hipfire accuracy, and for some weird reason, they've decided to only give them a 50-round belt. They should have a 100-round belt and a lot more range than they do right now. The range on the LMGs is about where the ARs are, and that should not happen. The whole point of getting an LMG is for suppressive fire and holding down a point. But you're not going to have an easy time accomplishing that goal if it doesn't have the range to do it. Because now you're, you're forcing that person to take the LMG closer to the point, which means that it's much harder to hold it down because now you have less of a wide view than if you were further back. So yes, that is definitely an issue right now with Crows. Um, is at least some of the weapons like the LMG um, just aren't doing so hot. Um, the marksman rifles and sniper rifles are actually very dominant in this game um, for that particular type of scenario uh, due to the fact that they have the best range right now. Which is unfortunate that they're that dominant because now it's making hits so that it's very easy to pick off people and they can't really do anything about it due to the fact that ARs and LMGs have too short of range. I.e. it becomes a marksman slash sniper slug best that's an issue in itself okay let's go ahead and focus on um, performance this is a very early access game it has very poor optimization but you have to keep in mind that this is a smaller studio and uh, this game is again early access so you can't really expect much out of it <sighs> Due to that, I would say just ignore what the reviews are saying right now because a lot of the people that are complaining are complaining about that very issue. Another thing that's not helping with these people complaining 
is if you look at some of the complaints in the Steam user um, page, some of them are complaining that it's really poor on 3040, I'm sorry, 3440 by, I think they said it was like 2100 or something like that. Yeah, if you're playing a game that's unoptimized on a very large resolution or an ultra wide monitor, then yes, you are going to have a lot more issues. That is the general rule of thumb if you're playing early access or you're beta tester. Even I learned this when I was a beta tester. Never ever use a high resolution on a beta or an early access game because it's only asking for issues. You're much better off going with 1440p or even 1080p when um, playing betas or early access because they don't require as many resources to run and also, um, it means that you have more resources available to you in terms of the hardware. Because if you're trying to run a game at, say, 4K, which is what I'm guessing what these people are doing, then, yeah, you're going to need a lot more, you know, video card resources than, say, a PC trying to run it at 1440 or even 1080. It would require significantly less hardware resources to run, thus you'd have more room to handle the, un the unoptimization of this game. So, um, yeah, I just kind of want to point that out. With all that said, though, um, seeing as I can't really say anything else, I'll just go ahead and finish by saying um, kind of my thoughts so far in terms of whether or not we recommend it. I would say that if you're not one of these people that are trying to run it at very high resolutions, by all means, just give it a shot. It's free to play. Um you're not really losing anything just by giving it a try, um, giving that free to play. Now, if it was another game that was unoptimized and required money, then of course I wouldn't recommend it. But because this is free to play, I would just say give it a shot, honestly. Don't let these user reviews um, sway you from just giving it a try. Because, like I said, a lot of the people that are complaining right now are people that are trying this at very high resolution. Um, so just ignore that. Give it a shot if that's what you want to do. That's my recommendation. Can I recommend the game as, um, I guess, the next game for people? I don't know. It's too early to tell. But I can say, based on what I'm say, uh, seeing so far, this game certainly has the potential to be a replacement for the people who stream um, Call of Duty Warzone or even potentially Battlefield. I definitely can see this as being a possible replacement for those. That's assuming, though, that the devs do really well and uh, the player base grows, I guess. For now, though, that's really all I can say on the matter. Thanks for listening.